So waiting, still waiting for money. You're waiting for money. You've been working hard. You've done everything. You've put it, everything out there, and you, you haven't been getting paid. You haven't gotten paid yet. So you're still waiting for money, and the, the embarrassment and the defensiveness might all have so and the queen of wands reversed could be you um and, and the nine of wands it's like um It's like you're relaxing your stance. I know like 99% or 90% of the viewers on my channel are female. But I'm feeling a male energy here. I feel like the reading is centered around a male who's been working hard but still not collecting the money that's owed to him. Who's waiting to get paid. So the male energy could be a man in your life, if you're a woman. And um, we have an upset emotional female, the card reversed, doesn't necessarily have to be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, it doesn't have to be the water sign, can be anybody coming from that place. And then we have a younger woman, the Princess of Wands, moving into the past, who's... Uh, more of a fiery, you know, this is a fire sign, like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and someone else. Um, and, and the woman is coming from a more immature place, or she's just younger. Um, a crowning is the Five of Pentacles feeling left out in the cold. Well, you haven't gotten paid, and you're feeling left out in the cold because you've done your job and nobody's paying you. And you're waiting to be paid, and they're not paying you. So, um, yeah, that could be why you're frustrated, angry. The five of this is the five of wands. This is like frustrated. This is bickering and fighting. And yeah, this could be happening in your life um, with um, well, these two women are upset here, and then we have a prince of prince of wands upset. And with the reality of the situation, the Prince of Wands is more likely to reflect the person. See, I'm, I'm, the thing that's odd is I'm, I'm feeling there's a, a lot of there's male energy here. There's a male at the center of this somehow. And, um, and so, like, maybe the females watching it are, are seeing, you know, this male in their life of reading about them and the situation and how all of you are part of it. Something like that. But there seems to be like bickering and, and you know, just little nasty little fights and stuff like that. In the near future is the King of Cups. The King of Cups, oh right. Uh, uh, excuse me. Up right. The King of Cups upright. So um, the King of Cups upright isn't necessarily a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but somebody coming from more a loving, gentle, kind place. Um, that could be the the situation. Someone coming. I need a drink of uh, Gatorade. Um, oh, pardon me. Man, I couldn't even form my words. So the King of Cups is somebody coming from a loving, kind place. Usually a male, but not necessarily. These, the, the face cards king, queen, prince, um, they can be uh, male or female energy. I've gotten queen cards for men. We're coming, it's like a, and I don't like the hierarchy of women being weaker than men, you know. 
But it seems like with these cards, it's like a more powerful energy comes with the king than with the queen. So I know that sucks. <laughs> Um, the hierarchy. Don't like it. So, um, but the women do have a gentler, kinder energy. So, um, and women are better with that gentler, kinder energy generally than men. So, in the in how you feel right now is the Six of Wands reversed in its embarrassment, even possibly shame. And whoever this reading is about, if you're a woman watching it and it makes sense that the man in your life is going through this, then, you know, go with that. You may be the woman. I don't want to be the, coming from a patriarchal place myself. You may be a woman. Oh, you know, working hard, not getting paid, waiting for your money, trying to cre create stability in your life, and, um, you know, unable to contribute tribute or, or just, you know, pay for your own stuff, your own bills, and, you know, because you're waiting to get paid. It doesn't have to be a male. So we have the, in the truth of the situation, this is weird, I don't know what to do with it. The Prince of Wands reversed. So the Knight is more of a messenger than the Prince. The Prince is a young male. Wands, he's fiery. He's not a Knight. So I'm not thinking he's a messenger. He's more like a young, a young man. I'm going to quote through the deck. Are there, are they, are there knights? Are there, is that in this deck? I'm beginning to forget. It's weird. It's not weird. It makes perfect sense. It's just that, uh, I, um, you know, when I'm reading the cards. I'm not here. You know, it's not me. So, um, he could, it, Oh God, tell me what to do with this Prince of Wands. He's on horseback. He could be delivering a message, but it's not being delivered. How's that? It's like what message you, or the message you're getting is, is um, from a younger male energy, and it's on the negative side. It's like this fiery, angry energy. Um being presented in a message. So, there's a fiery male, young male. Um, and why is that the truth of the situation, Spirit? Why is that the truth of the situation? I want to see if there's knights in this deck. I don't remember all this time. <laughs> I've been using this deck. It's like, is he a messenger? No. Okay. This guy isn't a messenger. Okay, what is the point of the Prince of Wands? As an angry, irritated youth. Everybody's frustrated with this poor person waiting to get paid. <laughs> it's just, I'm kidding. And he's trying to, she, she is trying to create a stable environment. And even, this could be the same person trying to, you know, maintain a centered, loving, comfortable home. And everybody's pissed off. So this that's what I'm getting. Can I do any clarifiers? A general clarifier. Yeah, <laughs> well, I think this has already been said. There's like irritating people digging at you. Like this is like, this is like a friend I had, Rhonda. Rhonda was this really 
I knew her for ugh, my entire life. Met her when we were in junior high school. She was like four, we were 13, 14 years old. And she's always been this person digging at you. And she's always irritating. She's always creating trouble. She's always stirring the pot. And and the things she does, they don't they don't get to you so bad. It's just that it's like, why have this person in your life, this troublesome person? Um, can we get one more? Like, how about a solution to this? It'll come in the love reading. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. No, not another one. It'll come in the love reading. This, there's going to be a solution coming in the love reading. Let's see if it really comes, huh? Let's do the love reading. Oh, I'll do this after the reading since this is going long. Okie dokie. Oh, we have to shuffle that deck. Are we going to use it for the love reading? We're going to use the after tarot. Very interesting. Okay, Capricorn. Well, it looks like it's this one, dear. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so you can... So it can come to you now. Okay, am I doing two cards for Capricorn? I have a feeling I'm doing two cards. Are we doing two cards for Capricorn? <laughs> you can if you want to. What would two cards make sense for the reading? Yes, they will. Okay, is it this one? Well, this makes sense in the reading anyway, with the, the young people. Your love life is being affected by children. And then this one, very soon, clearly decide what you want so it can come to you. So, you know, creating your own experience. So, um, and then we're going to use the after tarot as clarifiers. Yeah. Leave them face down. I'm hearing <laughs> leave them face down. Is there one card here? Okay. I don't know why. Why? Because you're learning to follow directions. Okay. That's what spirit's saying to me. I was never good at following directions. You know in school, they don't follow directions. Well no, I create my own. Yeah, that works well <laughs> with school. Um, so in our foundation, we have working really hard, but it's reversed. So, you know, maybe you don't have as much work right now, or something is preventing you from moving forward with your work. Moving into the past is the, um, you know, Capricorn, I think you keep getting this. The three... Of swords and this was reversed so look this is the heartbreak right the heartbreak card it's all wrapped up in a band-aid it's the it's still bleeding the bandage is bloody um, so and the card is reversed so when this card is reversed and in the position of this position here it's like this has been an issue for a long time this heartbreak has been an issue for a long time. And it's time to let it go. Time to put it to bed. Time to be done with it. Some multitasking. Um, and then we have... We have the Ten of Wands. And this is carrying a large burden. But look at he's dropped all those sticks. He's dropped the burdens. But he's standing there staring at them, and he's like, you know, he's like mulling over them. You know? Like, you were this, and you did that, and you did this, and you did that, and if this wasn't this, you know what I'm saying? The card's reversed. It's like, you got to let it go all the way. You know, you drop all the sticks and walk away. Let the burdens go. That's what I'm getting. This is reversed. So here, um, 
the Eight of Swords. Now, see, she's all... He's cutting her loose from this bondage. And look at how affectionately he's looking at her. So, and this was reversed. I would say, in this position... Okay, this is how somebody, some kind person is releasing you from um, a self-imposed prison of denial and not dealing with stuff. It's like you're so overwhelmed, you're just closing your eyes, blindfolding yourself, tying yourself up, throwing a bunch of swords in the ground surrounding you, and saying, oh, I'm stuck. You know, it's trust me, we all do this. And um, it's, it's called overwhelm, you know. Our minds get overwhelmed and it's like, just let me sit in my own little prison for a while because I just can't deal with this, you know. And I, uh, I can be the queen of denial at times. I understand. There's nothing wrong with it. You're overwhelmed. You're carrying this heavy burden. You dropped it, but you're still mulling over it. You feel like you're all trapped. You're not able to move forward with work and then you have a heart a heartbreak that needs to just be put to bed that you've been hanging on to a heartbreak for a long time i cannot remember the last time you didn't get that card i was just like um the card has been hanging around capricorn for a long 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 time Oh, I'd love to do that. Spirit just told me I could do something more fun. I'm going to put four more cards on top of these four cards. Give you a more positive reading. Face down, I'm hearing. Face down. Face down. Face down. Follow direction. Okay. So, we have the card that makes perfect sense with the heartbreak, right? We got the heartbreak, and then it's followed by the five, the grieving. Let it go. Let it go. Let it cross that icy cold emotional river and sail away. Up here. Celebrate. Celebrate. Look at this. You drop the burdens. You drop the burdens. And it's time to celebrate. Okay? See? The ten. Celebrate. Time to celebrate. You drop those burdens. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, I get it. Okay, so right now we have this one. This one's reversed. Um, this guy's this guy's cut you free. Okay, and um, and it's reversed. It's like you've already been cut free. And then we got the Empress. You remember who the Empress is? She's about being creative, she she's the birthing of new ideas, creativity, the thing that makes you feel alive, creating new things, that happiness that you know. And she's also about birthing new ideas and pregnancy if that's if that's the road you're on. But she was reversed. So either she's reversed because she can't get pregnant or having trouble. Because that could be fly for some of you. Or um, or she's angry. She needs to have a little time of just being angry and a bit perturbed about um, these issues that were upsetting her. But I think, it, I think maybe it's... Uh, I'm going to turn the Empress right side up. She's hired. She is Major Arcana. And um, Major Arcana is just a choice. How do you want to see it? You know, do you want to see it in a positive light? You can, you can, you, by choice. So, I'm giving this card to you and right side up so that you can celebrate your empowerment. Okay? You have the power that, you know what, it only makes sense right side up. It doesn't make sense reversed. And so we, here we have, um, this is, this is, this was reversed, your Eight of Pentacles. You're trying to get your work done, but something's holding you back. So you got the Wheel of Fortune reversed. And so when the wheel shows up reversed, it's just that things aren't working in your favor yet, but the wheel turns and it will. So I'm going to turn the wheel right side up. Everything's moving in your favor. 
Let go of the heartbreak. Um, celebrate the release of your burdens. Empower yourself with creativity and move forward. There you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you an oracle card. I'm going to pull an oracle card and read you a beautiful... It's always these cards are so beautiful about spiritual growth, higher self-love. Okay? 